This is me dying on my first ever PvP Hardcore Iron Man in 2020. This is me dying on my second PvP Hardcore Iron Man in 2022. The goal was to obtain an Infernal Cape on these accounts, but I failed. But now I'm back with a Hardcore Iron Man account that I have secretly played for the past 3 years. And I will be playing this account normally until I have achieved the goal of completing a Hardcore Iron Man Infernal Cape. This is Scout Zone. Ever since I've created this account, I've just been skilling and AFKing this account in the background while doing something else. Oh my god. I got a pet on the hardcore. After getting the beaver pet, we continued to 99 woodcutting. Got the 99 woodcutting cape as well. We got over 3000 sharks and much more food to use. At this point, the only skills I really need to level up is herb lore for Bruce, slayer, crafting, and farming. And of course, all the combat skills. I only have 14 HP right now on this account, so I'm very afraid I will mess up somewhere and die. So I completed the witch's house quest for 10 HP levels. We are now 26 HP. I'm a bit scared here because I've seen so many people die to this moss giant right there. Fellas, get ready for the completed. Waterfall quest, completed. Restless ghost, completed. Vampire slayer, completed. Ernest the chicken, completed. Priest Imperial, completed. Ghost Ahoy, completed. Tree Gnome Village, completed. The Grand Tree, completed. This will be the last quest completed, uh, animal magnetism. We're gonna save a lot of money with this backpack now. This will be my home for the next few hours. I got some defensive upgrades here as well, so I don't die from the sand crabs. That would be very awkward. A few hours later, we are now 50 range. A beautiful upgrade is this MSB. And a good thing with the magic shortbow is that you have unlimited ammunition if you like last man standing. And I've been playing a lot, so now we have 7,500 rune arrows. The next big grind starts now. We are at pest control and we're gonna get full range void. I'm gonna kill this guy with the splatter right here. Is it that? He's dead from a splatter. Few hours later here at pest control and we're gonna buy full void. All right, this is probably gonna be the armor I'm gonna camp for a very very long time. Full void. Now back to sand crabs. Um, I cannot believe I missed the level 99. I missed the level 99 on scout zone. I don't have a fire cape. But I have a strength cape. We got runite limbs from an iron dragon, and now we got a rune crossbow. We got 33 brimstone keys from AFK Slayer, and now we got plenty of resources. Uh, our second ever hard casket. What do we get? Samurai braces. Oh my, wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. We got our fire cape, let's go. We did some LMS, so now we can unlock the rune pouch. We also got an in real life t shirt upgrade from Into the AM, and Into the AM is today's video sponsor. The t-shirts from Into the AM comes with great designs, you have plenty of different designs to pick from, they are very comfortable and the quality is amazing. And of course if you buy it now using my link in the description down below, you get 10% discount. And there's plenty of different designs for Into the AM, we got graphic tees, basic polos and basic t-shirts, they got it all. These t-shirts are very comfortable and they fit perfectly around my chest and arm area. This Moon Man guy right here is my favorite. Out of the tees I got, fits perfectly once again. The material on these t-shirts are very very soft and nice. I can sleep in them, I can go out with them. It's gonna make me feel great no matter what I do. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link in the description down below. 10% discount if you use my link. And once again, thank you to Into the AM for sponsoring today's video. 72 Slayer, a huge level for the account because now we can kill skeletal wyverns. We can AFK kill them for Addy Bolts so we can make rubies for raids. Dead Man Mode 2023 starts now. So we got 340k splash runes on the hard crime and we start at 71 magic. Dead Man Mode is officially over. We got 12k splashes left. And we got a magic level of 86. Here comes the arms top. Uh -oh. All right, arms top. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, what? We actually got arms bottom. No way. That's good. No <laughs> way. Ah, nice. Huge. That's actually massive. Oh, back to back. Actually, a good item too. Carol's crossbow. Three items in 12 kill count. But doinga. Oh, it worked! I got a play tank legs. <clears throat> another chest. Dupe Torag's legs. Oh, another item. Unique one, Guthens. Um, I mean, very nice. If I do actually manage to get full Guthens, I can just AFK all my stats up. I decided to get 111 combat before starting to do recipe for disaster quests. 
But here we are, I guess we'll complete one by one. Evil Dave, Lumbridge Guy, Crash Bone Crusher, Ugly Glugly, Pirate Pete, King Abobogi. Yeah, we got Sir Amic Varsi and the final boss fight left. When I bother, I will finish it. Rune gloves unlock. As of right now, the only thing I really need to do Inferno is Herblore. I need to be able to mix her Dome and Bruise consistently. So we are unlocking Throne of Miscellaneous so we can do Kingdom and get herbs passively in the background. Oh! We got the bottomless bucket! Let's go, I actually wanted that. By the way, the only reason I've been able to pray this account in the background for so long is because Skillspix has funded this account with unlimited amount of bonds. So if you do like this hardcore item and want to see more, go to Skillspix stream and say thank you. 100 Slayer has completed, we got 1100 points and we can now buy ourselves the Herb Sack. Beautiful unlock. Leagues 4 Trailblazers Reborn is starting tomorrow. I've prepared my account with 150k worth of splashes. I'll see you guys in three weeks. Two weeks of splashing, my runes are pretty much gone. 91 magic. There it is, 99 defense, almost 99 HP. Now we go for 99 attack. I just got 99 hit points. And I didn't record it. I'm done for now with Ammonite Crabs. Look at the amount of fossils I got. Once I've filled up the museum with all these fossils, I can use these for prayer experience. Tears of Guthix completed. Now we can get our rune crafting up. That's the Eyes of Gluffery completed. A lot of stuff. 25 rune crafting. Uh, we are doing this quest for a very specific upgrade. I'll let you know very, very soon. And that is the Path of Gluffery completed. But with this quest completed, we can unlock the new item, which is a budget trident. There's a 1 in 300 drop rate, so hopefully we get it very quickly. Finally! I got the Warped Scepter uncharged. Took me like 430 kills, over drop rate. Let's go. Man, the animation on this weapon is pretty cool. Oh! Tank... I already got tank legs, but Darox, I'll take it. Ooh, new item, I think. No, yes, new item, Barrett's Flail. Time for my first ever solo raid on this account. I've actually done 142 KC of alting in raids. Not gotten a single drop so far, but maybe now that I'm soloing, we might get something. All right, first ever solo raid. White light, what? No way, what? One hour, 31 minutes, personal best. I've made a list of things I need to do before going back to raids. King's Ransom, 73 Herbro for Stamina, get my prayer up to 70, Mage's Book, Legends Quest, 4 Barrows Gloves, and then Barrows, and then Raids. Holy Grail, prerequisite, completed. Shallow Village, completed. That wasn't even that bad. One Small Favor, completed. 20k XP in Herbro, beautiful. And that's the quest, King's Ransom, completed. And that's the minigame, completed. Chivalry has been unlocked. Let's get 70 prayer. This fossil method is pretty good. 2.5k, oh, that's a lot. And that's 62 prayer. And that is all the fossils used. We got 67 prayer, but we still need three levels. Final 73 herb lore. Stamina's has been unlocked. Oh man, this is gonna help so much with this account build. You don't even know. I'm here at raids and stamina's are essential to solo them. Alright, I can't believe I waited this long to do Underground Pass, but with Stamina's, it's extremely easy. This this buff to Legends Quest is so nice. Another 30k experience, we got one more. And there we go. 7th for Herb Lore. Legends Quest completed. Here's the brulee on Sir Amic Varsi, and that is Recipe for Disaster completed. And now we can upgrade gloves to Dragon. Oh, hey, this is a unique item. I'm gonna start high arcing my duplicate barrels items because I need the money for kingdom. And that's my money gone. This will be the last time in a while I collect these bones. 70 prayer! We have unlocked piety now. Oh, this prayer is so good and I won't get any prayer until we get either the rigor or the augury. This may have been one of the more tedious grinds, 76 Herblore. We can now, with a plus 5 Herblore boost, make Saradomin Bruce. 
We are making our first bruise ever right here, right now. This is beautiful. Oh, I wanna attempt Inferno so, so badly. I might actually attempt Inferno. Next on the list for Inferno, Desert Treasure. I still haven't done this quest and the prerequisites. And there we go, Tourist Trap completed. Temple of Icov completed. Oh, 98 range as well. And there we go, Desert Treasure completed. We can now Burst Slayer. And that is the Regicide completed. Uh, we get one agility level here as well, 58. Here's the big defensive upgrade for the Inferno. Look at that, that's, uh, I think it's 80 plus range defense just wearing this shield. <clears throat> I'm still doing daily raids, sometimes solo, sometimes in teams, and I still haven't seen a purple in my name. I just want to see one before I start attempting Inferno. There we go, quest completed. Helm of Nate's not unlocked. Alright, this is the one. Oh, that's actually good. A tank top, I can use this for the Inferno if I want to play it extremely safe. That's a great item. Ooh, <gasps> that's good. We almost got full Verax now. Give me the casket. Thank you, good luck. Uh, Armadillo Coif, actually good. Surely this is a casket, hard casket. Nothing. Do you see that? 80 Slayer, a huge level. Because now we can actually boost up with wild pies and kill abyssal demons. This will be interesting. We got 12 wild pies right here. We're gonna use shadow barrage. Ooh. I am sad to announce that you guys can fully hate me in the comment section because I got lucky on my abyssal whip. Look at that beautiful item. 146 kill count. Very much under the drop rate. It's done. We don't have to kill these anymore, three wild pies to spare. I got three spare wild pies, so I may as well try to go for the dragon boots from the spiritual mages. Oh. Uh, you guys can hate me even more. Dragon boots, four kill counts. That's just fantastic. I'm looking great. I'm done here. Still got three wild pies. Garden tranquility completed just for a simple hard clue scroll. Swan Song completed for a clue scroll. All these quests were worth it with this casket. It was definitely not. This is gonna be the third day. 3, 2, 1. Uh, nothing. Actually, a really, really good raid. 27k points. Uh, one suicide for the bruise. We got a whip upgrade. We got a lot of upgrades, but we only get a white light. <laughs> I just realized I don't have a Slayer helmet. I'm almost max combat, 80 Slayer, so I might as well smash that out. Get myself the Slayer helmet and increase the speed of Slayer training. And that's the cabin fever completed as well. Oh, we actually got it. The black mask has been completed. Did we get lucky? 252 kill count. Damn, mid conversation just switches it on the YouTube voice. Converted over, <laughs> bring up the commentary. I need three points to unlock the Slayer Helm. That's great. That's great. 400 points. We can now make ourselves the Slayer Helmet. Slayer Helmet unlocked. White light, nothing. Oh, no, it's a dupe. It's a dupe. We got a casket. All right, I can get Mimics now. First ever elite casket on this account. What do we get? Glory? Oh my, absolutely nothing. A new personal best. 51 minutes. There we go, 78 Herb. We're actually a huge level for the account because now I don't have to bring a botanical pie into raids. I can actually make the highest Buchu Bruce in the raids. I just realized how quick you get blighted surge sacks from PvP arena and you can just bring them to PvP worlds and use them to splash with. 48 XP with Earth right now, very quick experience. We are finally down to our last runes, 4 mind runes, we got 94 magic. One level away from actually having barrages for the inferno. So this account is looking very very good right now and I'm, I'm very excited for what's next. And what's next is 99 attack. <laughs> we can now unlock the attack cape and a dragon defender. I've got max stats without a dragon defender. So <laughs> I've never actually tried this, but I believe kill Cyclops for a dragon defender without even having any other defenders unlocked. 
I really hope I can enter, otherwise this is gonna be very awkward. Oh, you you still need a rune defender. I can't enter the basement without a rune defender. Oh, this is gonna get so much flame in the comments because of this. <laughs> I'm getting flamed in the clan for getting 99 attack, then the defender grind unlocked. Wait, the grind is over. We got the dragon defender. Ooh, 94 magic! Ice Barrage unlocked on this scout on account. The account is looking ready for the inferno. We just need some dexterous prayer scroll, maybe a twisted bow. Uh, I got 99 range. Just came here to get some money from the wyverns, and I got 99 range. Come on, give me the range cape. There it is. Range cape has been unlocked. Very nice cape. Very very nice cape. Another uh, white light. Oh, we got a dark relic. Wait, I got the broken dragon hasta. Oh, my good friend Otto, God blessed, just made me the dragon hasta. Oh, I can't even wear it. Type I want a trio? Completed. This item is actually gonna be useful for the Vasa crystal at raid, so a good buff. Easier rooms to do now. Prince Ali, completed, 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 completed. And it is done! Recipe for disaster completed at max combat. I got no money, so I'm just gonna high out this Torex play buddy. Buy items, barrels gloves. We got the barrels gloves. Now I'm actually looking pretty good. I'm at 168 kill count at raids and it's starting to get painful. Nothing, 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 nothing. 75 crafting, we can now boost up to make ourselves a beautiful glory upgrade. There it is, the Dragonstone Amulet. Let's make a few more just in case. Maybe one day we'll go for the eternal glory on this account. Oh, wait. He got oh it. no! Mike Skittles got a purple, but I cannot show in the video. Haunted Mine completed for the Solve Amulet for Chambers of Xerix. Nice little upgrade I didn't even think about. Alright, give me Tom of Fire on this account. Oh, yes, we got a Tom of Fire on Scout Zone. That is so nice. Give me the Burnt Pages. I've wanted this for raids. It's such a nice book upgrade. Beautiful. Time to grind smithing for a bit for Addy Bolt. We start at 60. All right, we are now 70 smithing. We can now boost up using orange spice to make ourselves Addy bolts. No, dragon axe. I, I just want a ring. I already have a dragon axe on this account from Winter Todd. Oh, we are done. We got a ring. We actually got a beautiful ring, a seer's ring. That's the ring we are going to use now for Inferno. I was going for either archers or the seer's one. And I guess we're going for the Sears one. And the ring has been imbued. He got a purple! He upped! Uh, he, uh, he's actually deserved it too. I'm here with absolutely nothing in 250 kill count. Lovely. I'm here at Bandos. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. I'm so burned at Cox. I just want to do something else. And this is, and this is something with nice upgrades. The fuck? Alright, one kill count. Probably nothing. We got the Frozen KP, so... Lost a lot of supplies in that kill. I don't know. I need to practice a lot. Wait, what? No way, I got the Bandos Hilt! Oh, three kill count! <laughs> oh, that's so nice. I won't be able to use a Godsword in a long time. And I'm gonna need 80 smithing to even make the Godsword Blade. Another casket. Ancient Peach Tree, is that a unique? No, I have, I have three of them. Another casket. Another ancient page. All right, we got three more hard caskets. Nothing, nothing, nothing. He got the back, but I'm so mad. I'm actually mad. I had a good chance of getting that uh, oh, 32%. For some reason, I just had the urge to get five kill count at Confide Queen just to get on the high scores. That should be 5 kill count and we are officially on the hardcore item and high scores for Call Fight Queen. We can almost upgrade to Elite Void. We only have one task left. It's right here. Kill Zolra. Alright, it's time to do Zolra. I'm actually terrified. I haven't done any practice run. I should probably do that. This is where I lost my first PvP hardcore item status. So I hope I don't redo that death. That's one kill count. We're done. We can get ourselves Elite Void and we did not get a blowpipe.
Alright, I decided to get 5 kill count at Zora because I just want to be on the high scores. That's it. Now no one can complain I'm playing this account safe. Oh my god, yes! Verox! We got full Verox unlocked! Look at this, it's nice! The Verox set is gonna be really useful here at Bandos because it got a higher DPS than the Whip. I believe this is gonna be 50 kill count. Yep, yeah, the combat achievement has completed. Um, uh, I could have died. Yeah, I shouldn't risk it. I shouldn't risk it for, for that one kill. Uh, I could have died there. We have reached 300 kill count at raids and still no item. And that should be the Kandarin Hard, completed for 10% extra ruby procs. Whenever I proc a ruby bolt, definitely worth the grind. Any purples? <gasps> oh my god, my first ever purple. PM off, PM off, PM off. I want magic or range upgrade, please. It's been too long. It's been too long. It's over 300 raids without a single purple. And I finally got one. What do we get? Oh, ancestral rope bottoms. That's massive for the account. Oh my god. I am so happy. I am actually so, so freaking happy. Look at that. 305 kill count. It happened. I can finally go to peace. I got an item. I am so freaking happy. Ultimate Iron Man MCFS and Trantax. Thank you guys for raiding with me. It happened. It happened. Alright, elite casket time. Good luck. What? I got a Fremna Kilt. That's strength bonus. And the Fremna Kilt. Very nice. I don't... I think this is worse than the obsidian legs. Purple, but not for me. Purple, but not for me. Thrantax got a dex. Could have been mine, but I'll take the split. The giant's foundry is surprisingly easy. I've never done this before, so I'm here learning it just for a simple reward. And there we go, 2000 points, double ammo mold. 50 kill count later, still nothing. I really want to try out the Inferno, but I wanted to wait until I got Rigor unlocked. But based on the raids, I seem to not get it. All right, let's attempt the Inferno for the first time. Here we go. Oh, I got a combat task for get it, reaching the mage. Four points. I'm actually impressed with myself. I've gotten to wave 50. I didn't expect to get this far. Next wave is going to be Ranger and Major. Um, I'm so dead here. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. It was a good first attempt, wave 454. I'm, I'm kind of proud of that. I actually feel like I could if I put in the time without the dicks. But I kind of want to get the dicks. I kind of want to get a blowpipe as well. So I want to go back to Barrow so I can get more death runes for the Inferno. So I completed the Mortania Hard Diary. I now get 50% more runes from Barrows. There we go. And a bunch of lamps straight to agility. I really don't like this skill of agility. So just to getting it done is nice. Oh, that's a lot of death runes. That's what I want to see. Watchtower prerequisite for Monkey Madness 2. And that's the final requirement for Monkey Madness 2 done. Whoever created this Monkey Madness 2 platform is evil. Thank god for the plugin, but still it's horrible doing this. And if I get caught, I'm gonna cry. And that's Monkey Madness 2 completed 80k Slayer experience, the reason why I did this. But also Zenite unlocked. I already got a whip up, I will be picking all these whips up, thank you very much. Black Demon has this means Demonic Gorilla time. We got a light frame, not really that useful, but I will take it. Two odd caskets, we need God the Eyed Buddy or God the Eyed Chaps. And nothing, and nothing. I'm going to the wilderness for a uh, step six of the clue scroll. Give me the casket. Beautiful. Not worth it. And nothing. Oh my god. We got one. We got our first Zenite shard, the collection log pop up. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Let's go. Man, the collection log was looking quite depressing. We only had 3 light frames and now at 373 kill count we got this zenite as well. I am happy. Now we just need to get my crafting up. There it is, 86 slayer, one level to go before the trident. 374k experience, oh, this is gonna take a while but we're almost there, almost at the finish line. Oh my god I survived that. 
wide for me. He got an arcane preschool. Could have been mine. Level up. There completed. It is. 87 Slayer! We can finally get the Kraken task, but I think I'm gonna finish this Slayer task of Necros real quick. Alright, we got 478 points to get a Kraken task, and we're gonna extend Kraken, so we get a bigger task if we do get this Kraken task. Alright, Kraken task begins now, we got 168, we got the Slaughter Bracelets ready. Just get lucky on this one, 1 in 200. Oh! <laughs> we got it! We got the trident! It's unlocked! Yeah, that was early! Three kills, and we got it! Zulra is the boss that have destroyed me twice. My first PvP hard crime and the second PvP hard crime, man. But now we're here for the third time, and I need the Tanzanite Fang to get the Infernal Cape. 25 kill count. Is it weird that I'm using my own plugin? 82 Herblow with a plus 5 boost, we can now make anti-venoms very useful for Zulra. Oh, the anti-venom here is so, so nice. And we get teleports, even nicer. Wait. Nah, man. I got a unique, but <laughs> no. Is it, what's the drop rate of this thing? This is actual crap. Yeah, the drop rate right here. One in three thousand. And that's Lunar Diplomacy completed. We can now make... We can now make Super Glass Make. Lovely. Completed the quest Enakra's Lament for the quickest way to obtain buckets of sand for crafting. To get quick buckets of sand, it's very simple. You mine these sandstone rocks. You deposit the sandstone rocks on this grinder. And then you deposit buckets to this guy. And then you can just claim sands. And there we go, 150 buckets. I'll see you when I get 84 crafting. We're now 79. 84 crafting, it's done. I can finally boost up and make my ring of suffering. Okay, I believe that should be enough taco. Value onyx, 260k. We got the onyx. We have unlocked the onyx. There we go, we have it. Cut the suffering, make a zenite ring. It's been done. Make a ring of suffering. Ring of suffering has been made. And that should be enough point for a scroll on imbuing. Put that on the ring of suffering. Look at it. Look at all the defense, the prayer. It's so so nice. Another raid. I've, I've I've not seen anything in like forever. I think I'm at 385 kill count. Oh no! It could have been mine! Wait, it's just a six month split? Thank you very much. Oh, there we go. 99 magic at Zora. Are we gonna get the purple as well or a unique item? I mean. Mm. I got baited by my own plugin. I got a new PB. Unlucky. With 99 magic, I can now buy myself the magic cape and just quickly spellbook swap whenever I'd like. Good luck. Yep. Oh. <gasps> oh. No! Damn. He already has one. I mean, these guys aren't happy about it because he needs a dex, but you know, <laughs> I'm happy about it. <laughs> All right. It is time to farm this blowpipe. We are at 100 kill count and we got the suffering. Well, I got a speed run. Thank you. 150 kill count. Oh! No! I got... Oh! I got an uncut onyx as my first or second unique from Zora. Oh! No! I gotta drink crafting now. 200 kill count at Zora. One onyx, one jar of swamp. And that is gonna be 85 crafting. Alright. Onyx amulet. Amulet of the onyx. We got it. And there we have it. Amulet of the Fury. Look at the defense upgrades. It's so nice. Very good upgrade for everything. He's dead. <gasps> oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! We have unlocked it! We have unlocked the rigor spell! Finally! 406 kill count! I'm actually super super happy. Happy Donk and who is here? The other guy who was raiding with us, he wanted the text and he locked out! I think I need to give them a split. How much is this? 16 mil? That's like 6 mil each. Learn rigor. It's been unlocked. 
It's been unlocked. It was. It's been so long. It's been so long, and I got it. You made him quit. I made him quit. Yes, yes, we got a tank body. That is what we have been doing barrels for. We are going to the inferno. It's time. We are back for attempt number two. 416 range defense. Amulet of suffering. Amulet of fury. MSB and rune arrows. And most importantly. Rigor. The Inferno consists of 68 waves of NPCs you have to kill. Normally when I've done the Inferno I have been using high DPS equipment so doing it now with only a rune crossbow and magic shortbow is a massive difference. Alright that's single Jadan. Why are my hands so sweaty? I do not like this at all. Triple Jad's time here we go. Can I hit something? Yeah, that was... Holy shit, I took so much damage! I couldn't hit the Jad! The second attempt of Inferno and we reached triple Jads in this room crossbow setup. Not bad, but to make it easier, I'm gonna get some gear upgrade to speed up the waves and by the time I upload the next hardcore Iron Man video, I will either be dead or have an Inferno cape. I'll see you then.